Two important questions I've been asked recently. How do I get experience quickly after the recent banning of the scrolls or effectively the nerfing of all the repeatable quests in Wayfinder before they give you 20k experience if you complete them? Now they give you around 500. It's, it's rough. That's the first question. The second one that I asked myself, should I get three patties in my Waterbreaker order or only two when I get the young fast food tonight? We'll find out later. Now, as far as experience goes, the thing I suggest is going to be as follows. If you're on a pretty low character, the best thing you can do is get carried. Literally, or literally, ask some friends or find some folks to carry you through the hard content. All right, I want to see how many levels Oracon gets from this. Oracon went from level 1 to level 6 from the first dungeon we did. That is the most efficient way if you don't have any quests to turn in. Level Sphere 4 repository is like, what, 2300? Nah, less than that, 2100 probably. It was 5k for six minutes. Yeah, that's bad. See, I got 21k in six minutes, so you're doing something wrong there, Revy. Mm, yeah. yeah, must be bad at the game or something. Now, if you don't want to do that, you don't have any friends, don't want to reach out, cool. Try and do repository of knowledge on the highest sphere you can handle as quickly as you can without dying too much. When you die, it takes up time. We don't like that. It hurts the freaking XP gains. And the moment you can, go into the Hollow Heart map and do that as fast as you can. That will give you the best XP gains as possible. And in my case, it's roughly 2,000 experience per minute on average. So let's say 14K experience in roughly 7 minutes or close to 20K experience in roughly 10 minutes. That is the best thing you can do for experience if you're trying to make some gains, brother. And I will say that it won't always be a one-to-one -one ratio of like 2k experience per minute because things will vary. You'll get different events and different modes, different mobs will spawn. And as far as my testing goes with the young Revenald, I've noticed as well as he did, events play a decent role in some cases. The type of mob you kill plays a big role in some cases. And one thing I hope they change going forward, I hope they make it so the double shot on movement that makes it so you get a bunch more mobs to kill gives you more experience we did a run where we killed almost 500 mobs we got 10k experience this should be interesting all right 30K wait don't hit it don't hit it big guy oh yeah we killed 490 enemies in 15 minutes roughly how much xp do you think we got Revy? 7,000. 10,000. The mobs literally become stronger. Like, that's the thing about Shadow Imbuement. Shadow Imbuement should be, like, the high-risk, like, run. Because high risk. there's a zero reward. Literally. Zero reward. <laughs> As you can see, that's a little lackluster. I think Shadow Imbuements, if you use two of those, should be that experience. It's more challenge, it's more time-consuming, and it makes the Imbuements make sense. I don't think that every movement should do something insane in terms of uh, player progression necessarily, but greed imbuements for gold and shadow imbuements should be for experience because more mobs you kill, the more experience you get is how it normally goes. The same thing should apply with the imbuement. I do suggest when leveling to use a weapon that is high level with a low level character and vice versa. For instance, level 30 Tempest with my level 19 Venomous currently, it's decent. It's going pretty good. And also, weapons that have max HP, when you're using a character that doesn't have any high levels, is fantastic for, survivabil for survivability. Otherwise, you get absolutely dunked on. Tempest is great for the max HP and the damage. Events and maybe even opening up chests are a great way to increase your total XP in a dungeon. I don't, I'm not sure, but that's what I think happens. Because kills themselves don't seem to really add that much, although killing elites might. To get an extra 5% experience for 5 minutes, pop your potions before fighting things, and then pop it after 5 minutes passes. Which is a hassle, but it's decent, I suppose. Hopefully in the future they make these last 10 minutes or the whole dungeon for the experience buff. Now that being said, the Spock notes, repository of knowledge for easy experience, hollow heart in the very last frost zone for the most experience possible if you're quick. Okay, now let's go ahead and play some gameplay and uh, show me and Revy figuring these things out. And also I should say that boss fights can be decent for experience, but overall not the greatest considering the load times. 1650. Anywho, enjoy the theory 
the stuff and the gameplay and whatnot. Thanks for watching. Check out the Twitch channel and enjoy. Welcome to that my world. Camping. That guy was in the bushes, bro. He dunked yeah. on you something fierce. I saw the arrow and I was like, Remy's fine. And then you died. I forgot how to do that one. Oh my god, I'm gonna chase my bear. Bear grills! Bear grills! I was shooting to the tap man, takes a thousand years. Dude, that is so goofy looking, bro. Okay, that's that was sad. No choice. Um, I'm even sadder now because it was all for nothing. And I got hit by a freaking visor. I hit by a, a screen door. Yeah, bro, so much. Don't let that cold air out. Like a damn seagull. Alright, I'm hoping for like. I think it won't be 18k, but it'd be sick if it was. I'm hoping to at least see the numbers. 13.4. Was our best one is the 540 for 11k, I think. I'm being griefed by these guys. They're griefing me. I'm being griefed. Bro, I hit the jackpot. Nice. Okay, you're doing that shit, huh? I didn't even know you went over here. I thought There's we were going bomb. for speed, Revenold. I was doing events. Oh. They are they worth? I don't know. Can we enter this? Fuck no. Unless there's a way. Oh, I almost fucking got on top of it. Oh, GG. <laughs> Time to restart. <laughs> we, we skip. The gloom rooms over here. We can just go for speed. Or like a little bit. Skip oh it. <laughs> <laughs> he closes the door on me too. I couldn't. I couldn't get in fast enough, bro. <laughs> oh god. It's for your own safety, honestly. I've seen you get locked into places before. Yeah, the bosses. The way you find the boss is the mountain. Do's editor here. I'm pretty sure when you skip certain events, you get way less XP. I'm not sure which ones, but I do believe the little orb one where it traps you in a little arena, that gives fat XP. We got 7,879 for under five minutes. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. When you complete a dungeon, you walk up to the little freaking pink blob thing. Okay, you pop it once. You press your key one time. You do not click the portal. From there, you go ahead and do this number. You go, help, I'm stuck. Yes. Okay, then you click the portal. Interact with any portal you see. You hit that. This only works in a group, son of a biscuit. If you're in a group, you can then go to the bottom left. It says, gather party. You hit that, and what it's going to do is re queue you for the same dungeon you're in. The only downsides are you can't see what you got. You still get it, apparently. You get the XP, you get the items, but you don't know what you got. It does skip a loading screen, and as we know, load screens of Wayfinder at the moment are the last, are the first raid boss. They're the first raid bosses in the game. Okay? Now, Listen to how Revy explains it to me. Oh, he's fucking baiting, bro. He's baiting. He's pulling a damn YouTube freaking 15k experience in five minutes bullshit on me. Goddamn JJ Wentworth XP gain and I'll make the vid myself. What do you do, bro? You can make the vid. I can make the vid. Man, this is why we, we, we need communism, honestly. I think communism works when it comes to YouTube views. Your vid is my vid. My vid is my vid. I'm about to tell the devs you're, you're glitching, bro. I'm going to be snitching because he's glitching. Finish the map, skips going back to town. Oh. So I don't... Wait. Please. Okay, so I interact once. Customer support. Gather party. Revy is pro probably one of the absolute worst, and I mean worst direction givers I've ever seen. Why would, it, why would it matter if you're at the start of the dungeon or not? My question is, did we actually get loot or nah? You get the loot. Huh. Put a whole lot of faith in the system right now. Ravi, next time you share tech, get an Indian guy to share that shit because you can't explain anything, bro. I swear to God, I could find a YouTube video right now with less than 100 subs on the channel, 20 views. It's some random guy speaking a different language who explains shit better than you.